Jackson County hopes to fully recover from a cyber attack later this week. You might recall last week on Election Day, a ransomware attack forced the county to shut down assessment and tax collection services, along with the recorder of deeds and issuing any marriage licenses. Today, the county gave us an update on the situation. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan explains what's next. Everything from paying property taxes to selling a home got a little more difficult in Jackson County after a cyber attack last week. It was a Russian uh, group. Monday, County Administrator Troy Schulte revealed ransomware from a Russian group infected the county's network. He hopes to have the issue fully resolved by Wednesday. They caused a lot of mayhem and uh, jumble in our system, but they didn't get to anything uh, that was significant or would have compromised uh, any uh, vital information. The attack forced the county to stop some personal property services. Even before the cyber attack, we'd seen long lines at the Independence Courthouse. The county is urging people not to show up here until the cyber attack is fully resolved. We are simply trying to increase the number of people that we have. County Assessor Gail McCann Beatty updated elected leaders on why lines have been so long before the cyber attack, she said a lack of space. Police departments cracking down on expired license plates and staffing shortages contribute to the issue. We had uh, three more start today uh, and we've got three more starting in the next two weeks. The county owns this building downtown and there's talk about turning it into a centralized hub for all of these kinds of personal property tax issues or selling the building altogether. If you give me the space, I don't care. It doesn't have to be 13 under Washington. I get I'll it. take an empty Kmart. <clears throat> There's optimism. All Jackson County services will get easier soon. Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News.